Looking around, no one seems to be talking about using or covering Naeem's Lance. There's a pretty good reason for that. I don't even think anybody's actually reviewed the weapon on YouTube. I think this is the only one. This is going to be short and sweet. At least I hope so. With all weapons, I've always felt most of them should get talked about one way or another. And what might be your most hated weapon might be someone's absolute favorite. Sometimes, but not all the time. This is a very odd sniper rifle, and if you've been playing the dungeon, they've been dropping for you. So, with a review for it, as with all of them, what does it bring to the table? what can it do for you so if any of this interests you you can go right ahead i'm gonna have my scorecard overview at the end it comes in as a rapid fire strand sniper rifle and the weapon model is the bones of another recent sniper locus lakutus and out of the gate just the feel of it a lot of players won't like me personally i don't mind it but just like locus lakutus it's one of the few snipers that completely blocks your vision outside of the scope very sharply some do it but not like this doesn't bother me but it's definitely noticeable. The rapid fire snipers are great. Like PVE, they have some solid damage per second. PVP, they have high aim assist, high handling, but let's go ahead and rip the bandaid off. This is a strand sniper. A direct comparison in that slot is Supremacy. Supremacy's kinetic. It just flat out deals more damage because of game design. As you see, Lance does 19,563 and Supremacy is 22,498. And that's 15% more total damage, which is odd. I could have sworn it's 10%, but I tried different things. 15% more damage. So in this scenario, on a base level, no matter what, with a magazine of seven, Supremacy is just flat out dealing 20,545 more damage in that seven shot lifespan. It's like it's shooting eight shots to the Lance's seven. And that's just out of the gate. That's what we're starting with. And all of it just starts falling in line with the overall damage. It takes five shots to down this target, but with Supremacy, I've enhanced kinetic trimmers, only two shots procs kinetic trimmers when you have it enhanced. With a combination of it just doing more damage overall, three shots plus the trimmer takes them out. Saving ammo, it takes less crits, the whole thing. And this is a special situation in the game design of Destiny 2 that it throws upon the player, and the player's reaction is like a primal instinct. This bad, this good, and it's very clear. It's strand, does it do more damage than a kinetic out of the gate? It's an instant delete, and that's a shame. I'm gonna come back to this though. Naeem isn't necessarily dead on arrival. We have one of my least favorite origin traits in the game, Sundering. Destroying vehicles and constructs gains this weapon bonus reload and charge rate. Cool. The third column, hatchling, loose change, reconstruction, keep away, discord, element capacitor. Final column, attrition orbs, deconstruct, demolitionist, slice, high ground precision instrument. For this thing to work, it needs the artifact. Specifically, unraveling rounds, pick up an orb of power, grant strand weapons, unravel rounds, and then horde shuttle. Damaging unravel targets with a weapon occasionally spawns a threadling. So... This is a lot better, a ton better. With the unraveled damage, the threadling damage thrown in, it does pretty good. But the issue with that, not only does Supremacy still clear that, but just use a strand bow if you're going that route with the artifact. Use another strand primary. We have Slice Onslaught on the Iron Banner AR. Sure, it's not as fast, but you're getting pretty close results, all things considered. For me, I wanted to try something like this. This is Slice Loose Change. Slice is goaded. I'm a Slice believer. I use Slice every day in PvE content. Makes them deal 40% less damage. And remember, you can slice things that are immune. I do that all the time. But the idea, from a distance, use your class ability, you slice them, they do less damage. You're applying a strand debuff, so you're going to reload faster with loose change. And it kind of sucks. I mean, it's not bad. My overall damage is okay, but that's just pretty much the rapid fire frame. Like, when you do land crits, you do well with it. The rapid fires can deal. They have a good sustained damage per second, but no matter how you work it, if there's any mental gymnastics that go on, Supremacy still is going to do better. Even with that full-blown unravel round threadling thing going on, it's still Supremacy. I do like Slice, but at the end, it's going to be something like Reconstruction, Precision Instrument, or Reconstruction Slice. But even then, not so much. When it comes to the Crucible, I found myself with an elemental cap roll using Arc to get the handling up to 100. This thing has nothing special about it. Sure, when you get the handling up, it feels okay. I got on a target adjuster. It has 81 aim assist, but most rapid fires are like this. And with the theme, even within the same frame, same story, snapshot opening shot from Supremacy will feel better, it will do better, all the things. It does not bring anything special to the table. All of it's a shame. In PvE, I would give it two stars. Like, not worthless, but it's not great either. It takes a very specific setup to get that thing to this two-star rating, and it involves the artifact. PvP, one star. Nothing special about it. And the main use, technically, it's PvE. The fun factor, two stars. It was going to be at a one, but I can see and imagine Reconstruction Precision Instrument being pretty fun to use, especially with those artifact mods. 
but even with that, it's still trailing behind pretty much everything. The build flexibility, because it has slice, because the perks that you have or want on it, such as reconstruction, precision instrument, whatever, it's technically a five. You can use it anywhere, any character. The artifact makes you have unravel rounds. You're not tied down a strand. The must have score is a one. You must not have this one. Plain and simple. I haven't talked about it yet, but a dark horse is discord for the crucible with the upcoming changes. But even with that, other discord snipers like Locus Lakatus are better and they're craftable. So I wouldn't even try to be going for rolls for that, especially as a dungeon drop, it's horrible. I wanted to try some things, see if I can get anything going. And sure, you can, but it's still falling short. It needs the artifact, and with what the artifact's doing, you're better off using other strand weapons. It's a shame. If you're new here, remember to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for your support. Let's talk about the sniper rifle down below. Is anyone using it? I don't think that there is. And if you are, tell us about it and why you like it. Thank you for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.